Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create uh, one of these uh, 2D illustrations inside of Figma which uh, we see a lot uh, in uh, web apps uh, and websites nowadays. So I'm going to teach you how to do that uh, and uh, you can simply see my process of uh, uh, bringing a photo all the way up to a 2D illustration. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the very first thing which uh, I did uh, is to go on a website called unsplash.com and uh, basically in this website you can find tons of free royalty free photos which are of uh, uh, really great quality and uh, basically it's um, just one of the approaches which uh, you can use uh, um, another approach is uh, you can uh, draw uh, the, um, the silhouette the shapes uh, from uh, memory or just uh, create someone uh, create uh, a shape uh, um, just uh, you know being creative with, with your mind and um, you can also create some uh, compositions so essentially uh, um, just uh, grabbing a few photos and kind of combining them together maybe you can bring it to the next level using Photoshop but you know in this case I went for a photo and as you can see the very first thing which I did once I imported the photo inside of Figma is to add more contrast and just tweak the settings making uh, uh, it easier for me to essentially uh, come up with uh, the shapes and the outline so I just wanted to create some higher level of contrast in the photo in general so that the tracing part would be easier. And at this point I'm uh, just starting with uh, tracing the entire shape and um, I'm using a combination of the pen tool and uh, uh, later on in the video you're also going to see me using the pencil tool. So I'm, I'm using the pen tool just for some shapes which might be a little bit more tricky to, to just uh, create uh, with uh, the pencil tool or alternatively, you know, just uh, whenever I feel like, uh, like using it. Um, there's multiple ways you, you can go after it. The kind of drawing and illustration which I'm doing is, uh, is it's very loose. Um, it's not uh, anything like super strict or geometric. So um, as you can see, I'm kind of like freestyling a little bit. And uh, you're going to see the um, uh, the, the approach once uh, I basically create all of the shapes. Uh, you're going to be able to see later on in the video how I use uh, the uh, gradients in order in order to fill up all of the shapes. So everything that you're going to see right now is going to, to really click and uh, make sense. And then after that, it's just a matter of. Uh, you know, creating, selecting the right gradients, creating a contrast, uh, and uh, essentially create uh, uh, that hierarchy. So if one of the layers it's below or above or where it should be, you just uh, bring it uh, forward or backwards. So this is it uh, um, for the commentary. I'm just going to leave you with uh, some music now and uh, you're going to be able to see the full process.